Using algebra, solve the following systems of simultaneous equations. 4y minus 2 divided by 3 equals 5x divided by 2 and 18x minus 20y is equal to 3. Well, the first thing we want to do is to rewrite this equation without the fractions. So what we're going to do is cross multiply. So we're going to say 4y minus 2 multiplied by 2. So I'm going to write that over here. 2 times 4y minus 2. And then 3 multiplied by 5x. So I'm going to write that here. 3 by 5x. Doesn't matter which way around you write these. So long as the top left fraction, so the numerator on the left, is multiplied by the denominator on the right, or the bottom right of the fraction. And the top right, or the numerator on the right, is multiplied by the denominator on the left, or the bottom left of the fraction. So now we multiply out the brackets. 3 by 5x is 15x. 2 by 4y is 8y. 2 by minus 2 is minus 4. And then what we want to do is get our x's and our y's on the left. So we're going to bring this 8y over the equal sign. It becomes minus 8y. And we leave our constant, which is minus 4, on the right. So I've rewritten this equation as 15x minus 8y equals minus 4. So I'm going to write that down over here. I don't need to rewrite this equation because it's grand as it is. We've got x's and y's on the left and constants on the right. So we've got 18x minus 20y equals 3. So now we have two equations we want to solve simultaneously. So what we have to do is get our coefficients of x to be the same or else our coefficients of y to be the same and one to be a minus, one to be a positive so that we can cancel them out. So I'm going to get my x's to match up. So I'm going to multiply this entire equation by the coefficient of x on the second equation which is 18. So I'm going to multiply all of this by 18. And I'm going to multiply the second equation by the coefficient of x on the first equation. So all of this gets multiplied by 15. But I'm actually going to multiply it by minus 15 so that I so that I will have a positive and, neg and a negative that I can cancel out. So 18 by 15x is 270x. 18 by minus 8y is minus 144y. 18 by minus 4 is minus 72. Minus 15 by 18x is minus 270x. Minus 15 by minus 20y is plus 300y. And minus 15 by 3 is minus 45. Now my x's are the same and one's a positive, one's a minus, so I can cancel those out. Minus 144y plus 300y is 156y. Minus 72 minus 45 is minus 117. And then minus 117 divided by 156 gives me minus 3 over 4, so I get minus 3 quarters for y. Now what I'm going to do is substitute y into one of my equations. I'm going to go with this one, but it doesn't matter which one I use, to find my x. So I've got 15x minus 8y equals minus 4. I swap the y for minus 3 quarters. Minus 8 by minus 3 quarters is plus 6. I'm going to bring the 6 over the other side. It becomes minus 6. Minus 4 minus 6 is minus 10. Minus 10 divided by 15 is going to be minus 2 over 3. So my x is minus 2 over 3. and My y is minus 3 quarters.